please pause the video and read the question completely so in the question they have said that there are five friends p q x y and z they have purchased some notebooks let's consider that p is the number of notebooks p has purchased q is the number of notebooks q has purchased x is the number of notebooks x has purchased and so on the first statement says z purchased eight notebooks more than x so z is equal to x plus eight the second statement says p and q together have purchased 21 so which means p plus q is equal to 21 the next statement says q purchased five notebooks less than p which means q is equal to p minus 5 let's bring p to the other side so that we can solve for both q and p this gives us 2q is equal to 16 q is equal to 8 now we can substitute the value of q in the first statement p will become 21 minus 8 which is equal to 13 the next statement says x and y together purchased 28 notebooks which means x plus y is equal to 28 and the next statement says p purchased 5 notebooks more than x did which becomes p is equal to x plus 5 now we already know the value of p so let's substitute the value of p as 13 so x will become 13 minus 5 so x is equal to 8 now we can substitute the value of x in this statement which becomes x plus y is equal to 28 and y becomes 20. Then we have the last statement where we can substitute the value of x as 8. So z is equal to 8 plus 8 which is 16. Now that we got all the values we'll have to add all of these to know the total number of notebooks bought. So it will be 13 plus 8 plus 8 plus 20 plus 16. This gives a total of 65 notebooks. They are saying one notebook costs 40 rupees. So we'll have to multiply 65 into 40 to get the total amount, which is 2600. So option A is the right answer.